Okay, so what we're finding is, you know, at the moment, you might be one of these people that are sitting there just going, look, I understand all this stuff, but I feel like I need to be doing something. My advisor's telling me not to do anything or they're not talking to me about this stuff. I think it's a good opportunity to, if you want to take some action, to review things and, and take note of what's going on. So we'll put a bit of an action plan together for you. And I always like to look at these situations and go, well, okay, what does this make possible? There's a lot of things that we can't control, but there's a lot that we can. So let's look at the positive side. If we look at the positive, we'll come out of this a lot better. So what does this make possible? Well, firstly, one, we know this will pass. So yes, I'm telling you what everyone else, don't panic. And don't do stuff just because you're panicking. Get the information you need to know and then make a decision. But I think at this point in time, it's always a good time in down periods because we get a bit of a wake up call. Review your retirement plan. What does that look like? You know, it's being battle tested right now. Is it working? Is it not working? What things do I need to change there? Do you actually have one? You know, one of the biggest things we find that people want to know, particularly leading in retirement, well, how much do I need? When can I retire? And will I run out of money? I guess the last one, will I be okay? Um, they're the main ones and a lot of people don't know that and finding that information out and working to a plan will get you there faster in safer shape and you'll enjoy incredible retirement and not have to worry about money so get that done and now's a great time particularly if you've got to spend a lot of time inside have you got your containment lines in place now I know this sounds like a bit of an odd one but we when we talk about this it's a bit a little bit like a, I guess living in in bushland and you'll go and clear all the bush around your house so that it's safe and can survive in a, a, a bushfire same thing at the moment the market at the moment is a bushfire but you need to get access to money to live and all that sort of stuff so you need to have adequate cash reserves around to see you through these particular periods and um there's a number of things we do around that for client but uh, clients but i think it's important to review that as well and are there any spot fires that you need to take note out, put out now or put on the back burner for a little bit later? And one of these could be your, your risk pro, risk investment, the risk profile that you have on your investment portfolio, which might be making you a little bit uncomfortable. Sit down and just think, is it really making me feel uncomfortable? Are you unhappy with the amount of risk that you, you, you're feeling at the moment? That, that's really the big the drop from where you were to where you are now. That is a big issue. You need to take note of that. Perhaps write it down. Maybe not action anything at the moment, but when we pass through this and we w it will all pass, then maybe make those changes when the market recovers. But everyone's situation is different, so make sure you're sick. Don't stop investing. Just because the markets are down doesn't mean you stop investing. If you've got a long investment time frame, which could be 20 plus 30 years for most people, even if you're entering retirement right now, then it's important that you keep invested and you keep investing. There are massive opportunities at the moment to increase super balances with the super rules. Uh, you know, I don't think you're going to get a better time to really nail down on your retirement plan and get out of this in far better shape in, in five years' time. It's a great opportunity to, to take stock. I know it, it takes a bit of... Um, guts to do that but you will benefit from that and it's about getting the right advice on that as well and don't just listen to someone at a, a pub down the down the street if you are holding surplus cash uh, i sort of touched on it before may now may be a great time to put some of that to action would you put it all in once most probably not you want to be a bit cautious about that um we use what we call dollar cost averaging you know a little bit over a period of time so you know you might do a contribution every month for the next six to 12 months, perhaps, depending on your circumstances. But remember this, we're going to be in a low interest rate environment for a long period of time, I think now. Um, and you're going to be getting nothing in turn deposits, nothing in cash. And if you are or don't require that money for a period of time, it's not set aside for any capital um, events or purchases in the next five, 10 years, then but it's much better getting invested in growth investments because uh, you've got the time for it and it will pay dividends in um, in, in time in years to come. And it's really a gift right in front of you at the, right, at the moment. You know, if you've been sitting on the sidelines for a while, great, go in, um, but do it with some caution as well. Oh, this is big. Uh, stress test your retirement plan. I know it sounds painful. It's like going for a, a medical checkup, but this is a great time to... Um, 
to stress test your retirement plan, whether, you know, what you've got after this downturn, whether it's enough to, or whether you're still on track to actually fund it. We normally run our clients through a, uh, an optimistic, a base case and pessimistic scenario based on different market conditions. So that at any one point in time, we know um, how they're doing in relation to that. And you can make some really educated and um, decisions around how you manage money based on that as well. And certainly a plan B for your retirement. You know, what, what happens if you go through a big market downturn? You know, do you cut back on um, perhaps some overseas trip instead of doing overseas? <laughs> Can't go at the moment, but um, when the time does come, you know, cut back on them, maybe do local, save a bit more, um, push your car uh, changeovers out a bit further if you can, uh, maybe save a bit more, cut down some expenses you don't need. There's all sorts of things that you can do. It's just about being proactive and just knowing what they may be. Now, you may never ever action that, but knowing that you've got a plan B in place gives you that confidence also heading into retirement as well because you know what decisions you're going to make at certain certain times. So certainly I hope that helps from uh, getting your retirement plan in place if you're still a period of time away. And even if you are very close, I think it's important to go through this process, particularly now more than ever, given the world has just been turned on its head in the last month. So what happens if you want some further help? Uh, you know, for some people, this will be enough just to get them by. Others may want a little bit more help. There's a, there's a number of things you can do. We're gonna provide various links on this page as well for you. Um, I think it's important to get that information out there. But certainly you can send me an email if you've got a question on something. It's just got a single quick question. Please feel free to send me an email. I won't be able to give you specific advice, but I can certainly give you some guidance and some general information. 20 minute power chat where you can just ask me any questions you want about uh, retirement planning. And uh, once again, we won't be able to give specific information, but hopefully some general information that um, will help you out. And given that uh, now pretty much restricted to uh, an office, uh, home office, because we're not taking in uh, office meetings at the moment. It's the decision that was made, it's safer for everyone. Everything's now basically we're doing online like this or uh, over the phone. So I've freed up some time in my diary to make sure there's some times available for people to do that. That will be limited um, while we go through this uh, period of time just to help people out. If you want something more um, in depth, then we do run uh, Secure My Retirement Strategy calls. And in those calls, they're, they're obviously a bit longer. These will really help you set up your retirement plan. So we, we do a number of things in these calls. We want clarity on where you're currently at. You know, what problems you're actually facing. Are they actually real problems? So we'll get down to the, the nitty gritty of, you know, what is the biggest issue you're facing right now when it comes to your time. Uh, clarity on what where you want to be and really if there's a gap there and what issues you need to be addressing at this point in time. And then give you an understanding of what's needed to take you from where you are to where you want to be in the shortest time possible. Now, you know, certain things that aren't possible, but we give you the information that, you know, that you'll need to get from point A to point B in the shortest time frame. And there's a lot of opportunities that people aren't taking advantage of at this point in time. And it's really the fastest way to achieve incredible retirement and make sure that you've got it's safeguarded as well and that you get there, you arrive in good financial shape. You've got a great plan to get you through a long period of time in retirement and enjoy it without the stress and anxiety. And a lot of people ask me, you know, are we taking on new clients? Yes, we are. Um, we are very, uh, I guess you'd say picky, but very choosy on the clients that we take. We don't take everyone on. Um, we have a certain amount that we do want to, keeping the client base uh, and once we hit that, basically uh, we'll have a waiting list uh, for clients to um, to come into our business. Uh, we don't turn clients over that, that often, it's very rare, but when we do, we generally up to two clients a month so that we can look after and make sure they get everything they need when they come on board because it's a massive amount of work that's involved. So if that's something you want to do through these calls that are on here, we will, um, if we think there's a good fit, we'll let you know. There's no, there's a good fit, you, you know, you'll know as well. And if you need the help, we'll be able to tell you how we can help. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. Just very quickly, uh, once again, just general advice. Uh, if you need specific advice, please go seek uh, advice from um, an adv a trusted advisor. All right, so if you need any, feel free to, to reach out. Uh, there's the information there. We'll provide other links on this page as well when uh, that is set up. But other than that, I hope you stay safe. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen on the other side of it, but we will get through it. 
and things will move ahead. It's just a matter of when that will happen. But if you need to talk, feel free to give us a buzz and uh, we'll organize a time. Take care, guys. Good to talk to you.